he's got a lot of questions to answer too. I mean, you know, individuals who really have no track record or are trying to hide their track record are generally going to get nasty. But Brandon still has to explain his, his so-called ta tax to rich plan that doesn't look like a tax to rich plan to me when you're talking about head taxes or in, on small businesses, and which are taxes on the number of employees, or when you're talking about things like raising the hotel motel tax on an industry that's been pummeled by COVID. I mean, that's not a tax to rich plan. That's a let's destroy Chicago's economy plan. And Brent, Brendan's going to have to answer for his long his long advocacy for defunding the police or the statements that he's made uh, that he made uh, a few years ago basically justifying uh, the uh, the riders downtown who almost destroyed the central business district so he's going to have to respond to that so you know he's got a you know he's got a lot of things to answer f for himself and so i'm going to continue to focus on the issues just as i have I'm going to be out and about in the community, and, and I'm going to be answering questions, and I'm going to continue to articulate what I uh, see to, as, as uh, clear pathways towards uh, uh, ensuring that no community is left behind and that all communities are safe and secure and, and that, uh, you know, and that uh, you know, all communities are provided with quality educational options. So, you know, so I'm going to continue to run an issue-oriented campaign.